Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Basketball Champions League. Between our hosts, Balua Sten, and the visitors from Turkey, Darushafaga Tekfen. Well, these two teams now will want to end their campaign here in the Basketball Champions League on a very high note. And again, final game for both of these two teams, and it promises to be a very, very exciting atmosphere. Well, there you can see both coaches, Dario Georgia, probably with a lot to think about in what has been a very tough season for his team. But no doubt, as we mentioned, the last game for him, and he's a very, very experienced basketball coach. He'll want his team to finish on a high note. Well, we'll just look at the standings now. Here you can see, well, the fixtures actually in Group H, as Happy Castle Brindisi will be taking on San Pablo Burgos in what is going to be a very much exciting fixture. That also takes part today, tipping off at the same time. Those two teams will be sitting at top of the table. We will just shortly look at the Group H table in which all these two teams have gone through an impressive and a very exciting regular season here in the fifth year of the Basketball Champions League. Well, for Lua Stan, have been in the Basketball Champions League for five seasons now. They made the playoffs for the first time last year. And there they sit rock bottom of the group after five games, only picking up one victory as as new boys, Dara Shafka, Tekfen. Well, happy Casabrin Dizzy has had a wonderful season along with San Pablo Burgos. Those two teams will go on to the playoffs. Well, for these two teams, of course, it's going to be a matter of seeing as their regular seasons go on in their domestic leagues, but also thinking of ways what they have to do to get back here and how they have to improve next season. The both clubs are fantastic basketball clubs with some great players. Well, there you can see, of course, Darius Schiafka with players such as Ryan Luther, not to mention Grant Jarrett and Gokim Doyan. Not to mention Ere Hughes as well. A young prospect, only 20 years of age, just coming into the first team here, making a name for himself for that matter. Well, for Falua sent some players, of course, that we've seen for a very, very long time. There you can see Djordovic. 37 years of age, a prime time player here. Well, Lloyd Schwartz has been one of their best players, not to mention Jean-Marc Mouima, one of the favorites of Belgian basketball coming through the youth system. As you mentioned, Dusan Djordovic, 37 years of age, but doesn't look like he's slowing down any time. Eight, sharp shooting from the perimeter. It is going to be a very exciting matchup between these two teams here in the Basketball Champions League. Dara Shafka, there you can see, enjoying the equation. The occasion, excuse me. For them, it's about really trying to enjoy the last game of the season and really put on a good performance. Give a little bit of belief going into their domestic league in the Turkish Super Basketball League, for that matter. Well, Dara Shafka actually won the opening fixture here in the regular season, which was against Falua Sten. They won 79 to 74 in what was a very, very impressive victory. Off Falua Sten, they did win in game day two for their fixture as they beat the champions, San Pablo Burgos. Well, if you look at statistically, the players that have really made a difference this season for Falua Sten, for them it's a matter of Probably trying to keep this unit together, but probably trying to add a few names to the system. Jean-Marc Mouima is one of four players averaging double-double, sorry, five players. Trois Fontaine, along with Welsh. Pierre-Antoine Guillet also 10 points for the game, along with Boise. Or Britanovic, chipping in nine points, but he's only played one game so far this season. So for them, it really is about finding that prime time score to really lead the way for them. You know, no pressure on each team tonight. Could probably come out here, enjoy the occasion, but more importantly, give a really good performance for the fans watching. Well, Mark Sill is just one of the most exciting post players. Again, a man who puts on an excellent show week in, week out. There you can see coach Dario Georgia. The one man who's literally turned for Lua Sten into a powerhouse. 
in Belgian basketball. And uh, the head coach for Dereshafka, Seljuk Ernak. Again, another man with very vast experience. He was actually the Chinese national team coach, assistant coach, sorry, from 2007 onwards. Well, we're going to take a look now at the starting lineups for these two teams in this game. And I wouldn't be surprised to see a couple of changes, but nonetheless, I'm sure both teams will want to go for a victory. But we will just introduce our officials tonight. We got Martin Bulic, Thomas Bisul, and Darius Zapolski coming from Poland, France, and Croatia. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're very proud to say we have some of the finest officials here in World Basketball. They've done an excellent job in all of our competitions, and they'll continue to do so here tonight in game day 12 of the Basketball Champions League. We're probably going to look at the starting lineups now, and I think we'll start with the visiting team. And again, it'll be very interesting to see what kind of changes they'll make going into this final regular season game of the Basketball Champions League. I just wonder in the starting line, you can see Ryan Luther there. One of their top players, along with Grant Jarrett. I mean, that's a big lineup they have down low. And, and A, Accuse will also be there. It's very similar with other starting lines that they've gone with so far this season. I just wonder if he will experiment. There we mentioned Koselchuk, Ernak. He's been an assistant coach for the Chinese national team in various clubs, such as Bonvit as well, in Turkey. A very well respected and excellent basketball coach, to say the least. Well, the starting lineup now for Falua Stan Jordanovic, a veteran player, 37 years of age, will start a point guard role. Lloyd Schwartz will join him in the backcourt. Pierre Swan Gile, Jean Marc Mouima, and Thomas Welsh will play three to five here. Well, the good thing about having Jean Marc Mouima, he's gaining a lot of confidence in his perimeter shot. And not to mention, Pierre Swan Gile, as well, renowned for his perimeter shooting. Well, there's coach Dario Georgia, a man with vast experience, passionate basketball coach. Well, he got the club into the playoffs last year for the first time in the Basketball Champions League after four seasons. Unable to do it this year, but no doubt he's going to want to finish on a very strong note. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for joining us. It's game day 12 of the Basketball Champions League. Don't go anywhere as we're set for tip. Our host, Fulu Asten, will host now Dara Shafka from Turkey. Well, tempo is going to be key so far in the early stages for both these two teams. You would have probably expect to see Fulu Asten try and use a size down low. No doubt we're going to see a lot of pick and roll play from Dara Shafka. I mean, it's one of the bread and butters of Turkish basketball. I mean, they just play such a beautiful style of basketball. Players now getting ready, pump each other up. You can see they exchange accolades, pay each other the homage. But once the tip is underway, it'll be all business. Final game of the regular season here in the Boston Championship. When you think about the percentages from these two teams, I mean, one thing you're going to see for sure is that not a lot to separate them. Some areas for Lua Stan do beat Dara Shafka, but it's vice versa on the other end. Well, tip is underway, and it will be the team from Turkey that has the first possession here 
on the first quarter. Well, pulls up now, top of the key, net that one away, and again, uncontested. I'm not sure I'll get many open looks like that one. Well, first two points of the game do go to Dara Shafika. I mean, the Lewis San Havit time showed a bit of a lackluster defense, but they got to play more aggressive than that. Jordovich comes up one screen, goes in with a little finger on, he kisses that one off the glass. Stromovic, see Dario going all the way there. Georgievich, sorry. Comes up one screen now. He hit his last shot. Why not take another one? Got it! Well, two for two for Grant Jarrett there. You can see, again, the high pick and roll working very well for Derek Shafika. Having a lot of early looks. Karen Swankulay now gives this one up to Sean Marbuina. When they go down low to Welsh. Welsh backs down. Has to kick this one out to Schwartz. Schwartz has to pull up for a tough, tough shot. Nothing but net by Luke Schwartz. Well, Luke Schwartz can't win off the dribble. And let that one go, and it was nothing but net. Well, look at McGrath Jarrett down low, and they throw, throw it down to the big fella. Well, he's two for two from the field. Can he go three for three? Doesn't get it. Muina with a rebound, and now Dusan Jordovic will push this one in transition. Jordovic kicks out to Muina. Comes up one screen now. Uses again a double screen. Takes a shot, top of the key, can't get it. Loose ball, but Dara Shafka come up with this one. Doesn't use a screen now, goes in the lane, kicks out, finds it. Oh, he turned it over. Actually, it goes back to Dara Shafka because he shot my Buena. The ball came off of him. So we'll be baseline ball now to the visitors. Oh, it's a game. great penetration dish off there, but. Again, yeah, even better help side defense by Jean-Marc Moino. Jared now trying to get the ball in the corner for an open shot. Goes down the middle, finds Jared again. Oh, Jared with the butterfingers, and he turns it over. Well, Grant Jared was in a good position. I mean, he's got to take care of the basketball, but look at the help side defense by Pierre-Antoine Gallet. Probably just put off Grant Jared. Pierre Antoine Gillet now gives this one up to Dusan Jordovic. Finds Lloyd Schwartz a quick catch and shoot. Well, he gets that one to go. Again, how well he got his feet set and just let that bad boy go. Comes off one screen now, look for a lob. Almost turns it over. Come on, Jared, able to keep that one alive, but again, looking for options. It's a hand up now, gets him off in the air, goes down the middle. Another turnover. This time, Dusan Jordovic transition. Gets Jean-Marc Muina and he gets the M1. Well, Jean-Marc Muina ran the fast break so well there down the right. And now he's going to go to the free throw line to make it a three point play. Well, there's the dish off and again. There was in the process of taking the layup, but it looks like the foul was. Well, to me, that looked like he was on the ground, but he will go to the free throw line now to shoot the free throw. He's been with the club now for the last five seasons. Again, what a fantastic player he's been so far. One thing he's proved though, well, oh, tipped back in by Welsh. Well, they did box him out again. He just got a hand to it. Poor box out by Dara Shafika as he'd go down now, 11 to 4. Well, here comes the dribble handoff sequence now from Dara Shafika. Why not? Pulls the trigger from downtown, and he nails it. That is much, much better. Again, they can get their perimeter shooting going early. Dara Shafka could probably give himself a good chance in this game. Muina now comes off one screen, thought about taking the shot. Gives this one up to Jordovic. But Jordovic pulls the trigger. Doesn't get a big rebound by Jarrett. And now they can push in transition. Thought about taking the shot, now gets a handoff. In the lane now, a bit of bump, finds Jarrett, Jarrett under the basket with an easy dunk. Well, beautiful build-up play there. There you can see the penetration, the dish off, and then the throw down. Jordovic now comes off one screen, 
Bulls misses last one, takes another one. Gets the shooters drop on it, sucks it away. A smart play by the veteran there. He loves to use the double pick and roll. And just got himself enough space. With the shot off. Here comes the dribble handoff sequence from Darius Shafka. Well, Burke to me now wants the ball down low, but get a cross court pass, a wide open look from the perimeter. Got it! Well, Darius Shafka now gaining confidence. And hey, Akio's there, you can see. Nailing the shot. Jordovic now finds Schwartz. Schwartz a pump fake in the lane. Kicks out to Welsh. Welsh top of the key. Doesn't get it. Jared with a big rebound. And now Darius Schaffinger can push in transition. Oh, Akio just turns it over. Well, he's got Jordovic ahead of him. Doesn't get the ball to him. And Lloyd Schwartz now. Just trying to slow this one as he goes pick and roll with Welsh. Kicks in the corner, good ball movement. Mwina, big three, got it! Beautiful ball movement by Falu Osten. Oh, look at the penetration. Gillet kicks out and Mwina nails it. Four point lead now to the hoses. Jarrett gets the ball in the low block. He's gonna back down as he kicks this one out. Well, gets into a bit of a tough situation there. This time looks like he's gonna back down again. Spins, bit of contact, goes up, doesn't get it. Mwina with a rebound. Oh, they turn it over. Well, oh, poor communication between Luke Schwartz and Jean-Marc Mwina. And coach Dario Georgia very disappointed with his team's inability to take care of the basketball. Emichan Kosud now comes into the game for Dara Shafika. Again, just to give him a bit of an option down low to give Jared a bit of a breather. Comes off one screen now, throws a love down low to the big fella. Oh, he falls over. Oh, he passes it right to Welsh. And now Luke Schwartz, he's got Gillet with him. Schwartz all the way, finds a oh, beautiful pass. Well, oh, Luke Schwartz went all the way, faked the layup. I mean, look at this. You think he's dunking it? Oh, that's a Magic Johnson pass. You gotta love this guy. I mean, that is showtime for Lua Stem basketball. Comes off one screen now. Tries to love down low the big fella. But he's gotta go up with it. Under the basket, beautifully put away. Well, oh, just able to use the size and power. Well, Kosh it there, you can see. Just using the good hands under the basket. And was able to kiss that one off the glass. Schwartz kicks out now to Gillet. Grant Swan Gillet goes catch and shoot from the perimeter. Can't get it. Well, this is where now Darius Shafka probably want to get in the sets a lot quicker. Comes off one screen now. Beautiful play. Kosh it under the basket. It's got to go up with it. Well, he gets fouled, but doesn't get the end one, but he will go to the free throw line now for two shots. Well, it's such a great way that Darius Shafka play the pick and roll and the dribble handoff. And oh, he comes off one screen. Look at the space. No help side show. Big fella. Rolls right to the basket. And again, he's got to go up and try and dunk that, get the M1, but two free throws. It's Britanovic checks into the game for Welsh here, but for Lua Stend. Well, Koshit now makes the first free throw. Well, originally from Istanbul, Turkey. Again, stands at seven foot one. Such an exciting basketball player. As he makes a second one. Well, great defense by Darius Shaka, not letting Louis Schwartz get the ball. Goes in the lane now, look for a dish off under the basketball. Foul's been called. So, Britanovic. We'll go to the free throw line now for two shots. Oh, great penetration again. Gotta love this about Falua Stent. Just attacking the areas inside and not so much kicking out the three point shooters, but looking for those dish offs. Tyra Shafka making another change as Erkan Vesaluglu comes into the game. He's also their captain and a very experienced player, veteran player for that matter. 
Tanovic makes the first free throw for Palua Stend. Well, Harris Matanovic makes it two for two from the stripe. He just gives the host a four point lead over Darashafika. Backs down now against Sean Mark Muino. Still has the ball in his hand, spins out. Great defense by Sean Mark Muino. Well, forced him into a tough shot way off the mark. Well, that was a poor offense. Foul has been called on number three at a Accus. Well, Accus there, you can see just reached a little bit too late, got beat to the spot, but no complaints from him whatsoever. Thought about taking the shot now in the middle, goes up, dish off under the basket, and Bertanovic has a wide open look. Well, the penetration came from Olivier Trois-Fonte. Well, Trois-Fonte, there you can see, made that beautiful penetration, dished it off to Bratanovic. The foul is now on Pierre-Antoine Gallet for the reach over the back. So we'll be baseline ball now to Darashafika. Let's well, with Darius Shapkin now. Half to be a lot quicker getting into the sets. And another isolation play. Spins around. Another fadeaway off one leg. Way off the mark. Oh, great hustle. Oh, no. Turn it over. And now for Lua Sten. Can push this one. Dish up. Under the basket. Gets the air one. And Bratanovic right now is having a buffet in the paint. Well, that is why you run the fast break. I mean, look at this. Off one screen, Bertanovic airlines, baby. Throw it down, Bertanovic. Rip the ring down. Well, that is why you run in transition, regardless whether you are a backcourt player or a post player. This makes a three point play. Eight point lead now to Falua Sten. Down the lane now. Oh, makes a bit of contact. He's got to go up with it. And he gets the and one. And that is a tough, tough move. And Bertanovic getting the taste of his own medicine. Well, that was just a beautiful cut to the basket. Burke Demir. You can see step through pumping. Bit of contact. Now, I'm not sure if they caught the foul on Bertanovic or Pierre Antoine Gallet. But nonetheless, Demir is going to go to the free throw line now to make a three point play. Ryan Luther will take a breather as Amar Silla comes into the game now for Falua Stend. Well, Tamir makes a three-point play, and now we just got over a minute 15 to play here in the first quarter. It's Darius Shafka trail by six points to Falua Stend. Comes off one screen now, gives to Muina. Muina takes a three-pointer, doesn't get it. A foul has been called off the ball. The question is, what kind of foul they're going to call here? I think they've just caught a regular foul, so we'll be sideline ball now to Darius Shafika. Well, Falua stand two fouls away from putting him in the penalty while. Darius Shafka one foul away from putting Falua Stend in the penalty as well. Well, he comes to pick and roll now. Akoshit steps back, top of the free throw line. 
Doesn't get it. Well, Masilla jumped up high for that rebound. Well, possible two for one right now for Falua Sen if they can get the shot off before the 24 second mark. But again, Trafonte now pulls up from 15 feet, takes it. Well, that is a silly foul to give away. Well, Emicha and Kosha there just overreached on the block. Now, two free throws. Jean Mar Muino will take a breather as Gilmore comes into the game for Fulua Stend. While well, Trois Fontaine makes the first one. Makes the second one now. Darashavka with 28 seconds left here in the first quarter. Four seconds difference in the game clock and the shot clock. Uses the screen one more time now. Looks for options. Goes down the middle. Goes baseline. Beautiful reverse slam. Want to get an offensive rebound. Goes up with it. Well, that's the second chance point that's going to do them a lot of favors now. A few seconds left for Falua Stent. Going to go all the way. No foul called. Doesn't get a poor transition defense by Derek Shafka. As Van der Verst went all the way to the basket. Uncontested. Well, Derek Shafka very lucky not to get called for a foul. We'll just show you some stats and some highlights now from the first half. There you can see Derek Shafika, 6 for 12 from within the rainbow, 2 for 2 from downtown. While for Lewis, stand 8 for 10 from two point field goals and 4 for 6 from the free throw line. And now we'll just show you some highlights and best plays from the first quarter. There you can see Dusan Jordanovic going all the way to the basket, but watch Welsh now back it down against Jared. Kicks this one out. Lloyd Schwartz there with the confidence in his shot and shooting the ball much better from the field. Catch and shoot from the perimeter. I mean, that's Ray Allen esque how he got his feet set so well. Watch Jared now. Perimeter shooting so far, two for two from downtown for Derek Shafika. Well, Lloyd Schwartz has been unbelievable in this game. I mean, look at the vision, the ball movement there from Falua Stent and Prada. But I mean, watch this. I mean, this is Magic Johnson dishing it off in it. Pierre Antoine Gillet just finishing it. Well, you can see a transition now. Britanovic just enjoying a bit of coast to coast basketball. Now we start the second quarter as Falua Sten just hold him to a five-point lead, but that could change right now as Britanovic doesn't capitalize on the three-pointer. And now Dara Shafika with a chance to chip into the deficit. Well, Jarrett's back in the game, and I want to be wondering if they're going to try and throw the ball down low to him on the time of the shot clock. They'll kick the ball out. Pump fakes now in the lane. Has to go with a little floater. Got it! Well, that is a smooth move. Again, it's that bad Berg Demir. Well, Demir just has a little sweet touch around the basket. He's two for five from within the rainbow. Moves up to eight points. Gilmore now looking for a handoff. Down the lane. All right, turns it over. Throws it away. 
And now Daryshavka with a chance to possibly tie the game up if they can hit a three-pointer. Here comes the handoff sequence. Jarrett now goes pick and roll. Well, here comes a three. They don't get it. And now it's a four-on-three situation for Falua Sten. There's the alley -oop. Oh, baby, whoa! I thought he was going to connect with that one, but again, doesn't get it. And now Daryshavka turn it right back over. Sloppy pass to play from both teams. Well, I thought Marcelo was going to be on top five plays of the week. Well, the Basketball Champions League with that one. Trying to get the ball now to Gilmore. Twafontaine's going to go pick and roll with Britanovic. Another turnover. Well, that's two consecutive turnovers from both these two teams in quick succession. Gets a handoff now. And another turnover. And now we've got options behind the back pass. Oh, my Lord! Well, Gilmar went flying with the birds as he went in transition, and he's just elevated. Came off a pick and roll now. Well, they got an open look from the perimeter. They don't use it. Comes off one screen. Wants to kick this one out. Jameer goes down low. Spins around. Well, the foul has been called. It's on Bertanovic. Smart play by Gorkim Doyan. Well, Doyan posts up, span to the middle. That's right, a foul. He's got no arguments whatsoever. Well, here's a turnover. I mean, look at this. We got a bit of magic in transition. Throwdown time. I mean, Gilmore ran down the middle. Well, Doyan makes the second free throw. Cuts it down to a four-point ball game with 7.33 to go here in the second quarter. Yeah. Zaksanovich will go to the bench to take a little bit of a breather. And Sidibas Boishat comes back into the game for Falua Stan. Comes off one screen now, puts up a little floater. He tucks that one away. Well, Vanderburst, you can see, just took that one in the lane and just drops it off his first field goal of the game. So he keeps for Lewis Stan six points ahead of Darius Shafiga here in the second quarter. Well, there's a pick and pop. Beautiful pass down low, but too much on it. Another turnover. Well, Darius Shafiga, I mean, it's a good look there. I mean, he's open, but such a poor pass. Boy, he just goes to the bench and takes a bit of a breather as Grant Jarrett comes back into the game for Dara Shafika. Comes off one screen now, looking for options. Well, Swaff Fontaine now in the lane, finds by shot. All right, well, Gilmore keeps alive. Gilmore under the basket. This time they do turn it over. And now Dara Shafika with a chance. Chip into the deficit. A beautiful pass. Jarrett's got to kick, but another turnover. Well, Jarrett's got to go up with that one. I mean, he's got it right there. He's got to go up. The great help side defense by Marcella. Comes off one screen. Toifonte kicks up. Well, Silla right now from downtown. Doesn't get it. Jarrett with a big rebound again. Well, it's been four turnovers so far here in the second quarter for Dereshavka. 
Jerry now looks it back down, but where the help side defense from Amas Silla. Jerry goes up, tough move. Oh, a little baby jump hook, and again, nothing but net. He now moves up to eight points. He's out four for six from the field in the lane. Base shut. He gets fouled. Well, it's much better from Falua Stand. You can see the movement of the big fellas. Every time they set the pick, they go straight to the basket. This is great movement again. Bad diverse with beautiful pass. Well, look at this from Jared now. Backs down against by shot. Makes a bit of contact, goes down the middle, and a sweet little jump hook, nothing but net. Six-point lead now to Falua Sten. Again, Darius Schaffig up for them. It's about taking care of the basketball and getting some good looks down low. But at the moment, Falua Sten doing a very good job on defense. Comes off one screen now. Oh, that's the force up a wild one again. I mean, shot selection very poor. And now Falua Sten with a chance to capitalize. And now they turn it over. Well, Vanderbilt there took it down the middle, and you can see. It's almost like he couldn't, jumped in the air, then decided what to do. He knows he's disappointed with himself. I think he was indecisive. Went the kick out to a Marcelo, or dish down low to Basia, but now that's that fifth turnover of the game. Jerry now goes pick and roll. Down low, gets to the big fan. Oh, he's going to throw it down, but missed it. Well, Jarrett was ready to rip the ring down on that one. Finds a Marcella. A Marcella! But he'll do the job. Well, Jarrett missed it. What a pass. And this time, a Marcella Airlines. Well, here comes the double screen now. Kicks out to Jarrett. Tries to use a handoff. What's well, another poor shot? Jarrett with a rebound. Well, has the time and space, spins out. The foul's on the ground, so it will be baseline ball now to Dara Shafka. Well, if you're Dara Shafka, you got to throw the ball down to Jarrett because there's the mismatch right there. He can't be guarded by Byshot. I mean, Byshot's a great player, but it is a mismatch. Here comes the screen now. Finds Jarrett. Jarrett goes over it. And the big fella now. He now moves up to 10 points. And he's 5 for 8 from the field. Again, he's just at the moment unstoppable in the low block. Tua now takes a three pointer. And he knocks it down. Well, he puts Falua stand up by 9 points. Here comes another pick and roll. Well, Jared thought about taking a three-pointer, but didn't take it in the end. Goes down the middle now, all the way with a finger roll. Too much on it. A Marcelo with a rebound. And now for Lua Stang to capitalize. Silla gets fouled, so it will be baseline ball now to for Lua Stang. Well, the foul is on Troy Salim Savin. That's his first personal foul of the game. Well, he held on quite there. And you got to be careful in that situation because you don't want to get caught for an unsportsmanlike foul. Well, Vanderbilt tries his luck from the perimeter. Doesn't get it. Dara Shafka do have numbers ahead if they can get out of quicker. Kicks this one out. Had the three-point shot, didn't take it. Takes a tough one in the lane, but he gets it. Well, Troy Salim Sav went in the lane and again. 
Then a bit of contact, didn't get the M1, but well, Van der kicks this one out. Gilmore in the corner, doesn't get it. Big rebound by Jarrett. And now Derek Shafka can chip into the deficit once again. Baseline pops, keeps alive. Tries to go baseline again, but another foul has been caught. I think they've called that one to Twa Fontaine, so it's now 13 foul. Well, look at this for a move by Salim Sab. Bit of contact, just puts up a little prayer and gets that one to drop. Goes down the middle now, kicks this one out. Great help side defense. Well, gets it to go. Well, he went down the middle with his left hand and gave it a bit of a fang roll. I mean, look at this. He wasn't even looking at the basket on that one, but he still made it. Well, timeout now to Falua Stannis. They lead this one by five points here in the first half. See Coach Georgia trying to tell his players, look, we can't lose focus. You know, Dara Shafka very capable of coming back into this one. Probably this shot selection isn't the greatest, but the Lula Sten, I don't want to take that for granted. That's one thing about Coach Dario George is such a passionate basketball coach and again, wants his team to play the right style, the right way. Well, Vanderbilt now under heavy pressure. And well, he now kicks up the bye shirt. Marcella. Takes in the lane, probably took too many steps. Gilmore with the offensive rebound. Gilmore gets the M1. And he's going to go to the free throw line now to make a three point play. Well, soft move by Gilmore. Oh, Marcella took a few steps on that one. Gilmore doesn't capitalize, and now Dara Shafika. Again, been trailing for the majority of this first half. We want to try and cut it down as much as possible going into the second half. And now we're on the six on the shot clock, so Jarrett's got to get something going to the basket. Well, they try a three. The three is up. No good. Offensive rebound. I try another one, the three is up, way off the mark. This one goes out of bounds, so it will be Falua Stambol. Well, there were two good looks on the perimeter, but again, they had a man down there. Is, I think it was Vandiverse who gambled on offense. It was a five on four, but they settled for the three-pointer. Vandiverse now throws down to Gilmore. Comes up one screen now, hesitates in the lane. Down a little by shot, oh, it's beautiful. Well, good hands to the big fella. As soon as he caught the boy, didn't bring it down. And now it's time out to Dara Shafko. I mean, look at this, in lane, but watch by her. Doesn't bring it down. Smart move by the big fella. I don't want 
So far, Fulula stand up 12 points off turnovers. I'm Darius Shafika. Well, the visitors have zero points off any turnovers from Fulula stand. So, it just shows you they're not really getting out of transition at the moment. And again, just allowing Fulula stand to kind of dictate what happens on offense and defense. Jared now looking for a handoff. There comes a handoff in the lane, finds the big cutter under the basket. Wow, gets the M1. It was only a matter of time. I mean, that's just what they had to do get the ball to the big fella. And Marcella gets called for the foul. Well, Marcelo now checks out of the game as Pierre Antoine Goulet comes in. Well, Pierre Antoine Goulet loves to play pick and pop basketball and really set up that jump shot downtown, but hasn't really had a, good, a lot of good looks this evening. As Jarrett now moves up to 13 points, cutting it down to a six point ball game. Vanderbilt now comes off the screen, kicks out of Tua Tw Fontaine. Well, Gilmore, pump face, goes baseline. Gilmore, Euro steps, gets rejected. Well, I think they're going to call a goaltending violation. Well, there was a pump fake. Gilmore goes baseline, and well, the ball did touch the backboard for the block, so it is a goaltending violation. Now finds Jarrett. Jarrett's got to kick it out. Well, they got to make it three in the corner. No good. Another offensive rebound. Oh, they turn it over. Well, you can see they're trying to go the pick and roll with Jarrett, but Kalua standing coming on the double team that in. Darius Shafka have to be better at getting the ball in the hands of open shooters on the perimeter. But we got a timeout now because these two teams are going to talk it over.
Now you can see Vanderbus try and slow this one down. There's exactly about nine seconds difference between the game clock and the shot clock. Well, an offensive foul has been called. I think they've called an illegal screen on Gilmore. Vanderbilt, there you can see Gilmore just said it for Luke Schwartz coming off. So now Darius Schafka is going to call timeout as they get a chance to get the last shot of the first half. Just over 10 seconds now. Dara Shafka. Is Jarrett looking to get a handoff? Comes up one screen now. He's got to get something going. The foul has been called. That's a silly foul. Because now he will go to the free throw line for two shots. Well, Gilmore just has his right hand on him. We should have no arguments whatsoever. And makes the first one. Was Demirgulu, you can see, just did a great job there coming off the pick and roll very aggressively and drawing that foul. Makes it two for two from the stripe, and now we will stand with 4.3 seconds to possibly get one more shot off here. The Trois Fontaines come back to the game. These last four seconds I would give them a chance of having as many shooters as they find. Winner, they turn it over, and now Derek Schaffiger, last chance, shot off, got it! Wow, what a steal! And he nails it. Well, that is on, but Coach Dario George is not happy. I mean, look at that. He is furious that his team couldn't take care of the basketball. I mean, look at this. Three-pointer right at the end of the first half. Well, Dario Schaffica been very lifeless so far here in the first half, but all of a sudden, they find themselves well back in this game, trailing by three points here away to Falua Sten. Well, they can see the stats so far. Dara Schaff got three for six from downtown, while Falua Sten three for eight. Well, the assists, a big difference in this game so far is Falua Sten do have five more, but Coach Dario Georgia. Again, very disappointed in his team's ability, inability, sorry, to take care of the basketball. Well, there you can see Jarrett. Well, here are some of the highlights now from the first half. Is Dusan Jordovich going all the way to the basket, kissing that one off the glass. Shamat Wina now throwing it down low to Welsh. Kicks this one out. With Schwartz there off the dribble, nothing but net. And 
Jamir got the handoff now. Again, Jarrett. Been a big problem in this game so far, but Jamir nailing that one from downtown. Barry Shafika has gone along with the pick and roll and the dribble handoff sequence in this game. But the one thing for them is getting the ball down low to the big fella, Jarrett, just letting go to work in this game. Sean Martin there, nailing the three-pointer. Luke Schwartz, what a pass in transition. That was the pick and pop sequence, and they can see Vitanovic just going to the basket, dunking that one down. Gilmore's been good so far, but again, just a couple of fouls unnecessary, but here's the transition play. I mean, look at the behind the back pass. Gilmore, throw it down, big fella. Well, Jarrett's been unbelievable in this game. I mean, beautiful post move down the middle. He's really made the most of his post work down low. You can see Salim Sab now taking that one in the lane. the push Stevens goes up high the finish is good beautiful feed
Jones alley up, and this time they're successful with Makundu. He had the ball, then a, a nice little pass. So that's going to finish. It is good from Borowski. Long pass over the Rubon. Oh, he gets rejected at the line by Simmons right at the rim. Not in your house. Bounce is clear, and Stevens with the rebound, the push. His versatility here behind the back. Stevens all the way. What a play. Incredible from Deshaun Stevens. Certainly, that looks like it's his approach. He just loves being out there. And nice drive down low. And as Dezeu goes to 10 points. Perksell now looking for options. Motum gives him the option on the wing, guided by Benjus. Oh, what a pass by Motum. A no-look pass from the Aussie. Ennis with some room. Oh, has a tip from behind with Chinsky. Behind the back. Little showtime. There's another one and the finish from Cersei. So two in a row behind the back. First one with Chinsky. First by Darbo, and now it's Peterson splits between two, take off. Lowry with a rebound, and now Smokey Minska just believing in confidence. Lowry crosses over, spins. Oh my lord, how did he get that move? I mean, that was B E A beautiful. I mean, he took that in transition, gave it a crossover, a spin out.
Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, now to the second half of this game day 12 fixture with us with Champions League between our hosts, Valua Sten, and the visitors, Darius Shapikov. We can see now both teams now getting ready for a very important fixture, but then the second half is going to be crucial, especially here in the third quarter between these two teams. Skip goes out fast, Forsmith, Forsmith. Okay, let's go. Continue with this and defense. If it's a drive, it's a nice percent. Well, here comes the dribble handoff se sequence now from Dara Shafika. Face down the middle, bit of contact. Well, he's going out of bounds, but he kisses off the glass. Oh, that's a strong move. Jordan gets a handoff, kicks in the corner. Home face now pulls up from 18 feet. In and out, doesn't get it. Well, now Dara Shafika with a chance. Possibly take the first lead of the game here. I mean, they've been trailing for the majority of this game. In the lane now. And finally, Darius Shafika take the lead in this. Well, he has been unstoppable so far here. Schwartz comes off one screen. Why not? Takes a three point. And again, it's nothing but net. Look, Schwartz. Again, it's been cash money from downtown this evening. In the lane now, the big fella's got to go up with it. What a beautiful little sequence there down the lane. Again, yeah, just got it in a lot. I mean, look at the bounce pass here. I mean, no help side defense, bit too late. Well, Schwartz has been on fire this evening. Beautiful pass in the lane. Oh, my Lord. Welsh with the throwdown. Oh, look, Schwartz came off the dribble. Dish it down low the big fella. And here comes the pick and roll sequence. Yeah, this is what's been working so far for Dara Shafka in this game. Goes in his left now. Bit of contact off the backboard. Doesn't get it. Jordovic with a rebound. And now he's going to push the transition. Finds Luke Schwartz. Schwartz finds Wiener. Wiener down the middle. He'll kick out. Well, here's the mismatch. Wiener pump fakes. Bit of contact. Schwartz pump fakes. Steps back. Okay, nobody wants to shoot the ball at the moment. Jordovic in lane. He gets knocked to the ground. Well, Kosha there gets called for the foul. It's just a little too late. I mean, it looks worse than it is, but really just steps over and gets to the spot a little too late. So we'll be baseline ball now. Two for Lewis then. You can see now Darius Shafka making a very hard four for Lewis then to get a three-point shot up, but Karen Twangule. We well, got to shoot Jordanovic down the middle. Jordanovic, well, I mean, this guy might be a veteran, but he's getting to the bucket, no problem. Right at the end of the shot clock, Darius Shafika. Jordanovic gets a handoff. Push it now, he's going to set the screen. Finds the big fella. Big fella's got to go. Oh, it's too weak. Well, soft move down low, and now we lost them with yet another chance. Boy Schwartz kicks out to Jordovich. Jordovich down the middle. Well, Pierre Antoine get late for three. This time he gets it. And for Lua Stank, go back up by seven. Well, beautiful kick out. It was only a matter of time before Gillet got his hot shooting going. And the offensive foul is cautious. 
Gets called for the foul. I'm not sure. Interesting why Jarrett didn't start the second half. And it's back to back plays now by Koshi where he's cost Darashafka. It looks like they're going to make a change early. When it comes off one screen, pick and roll. Pick a pop, sorry, with G'day. Schwartz steps back. This guy is on fire. I mean, Luke Schwartz is going to work. I mean, look at the step back here. I mean, that is beautiful. Just see how quickly Falua Stan can change the tempo of this game. Cross court now, doesn't take it, steps back. Deep three. Oh, it doesn't get it. Now Falua Stan, I mean, oh, it's beautiful. Oh, he's got to finish it. I mean, that ball did not touch the floor. As it says now, draws a foul. Hesitation. Get into the penalty early. In the lane now, goes base on. They turn it over again at Darius Shapika. We got back in this game, all of a sudden making the same mistakes they did in the first half. A great defense, come up with loose ball. Now they have a three on two situation. They almost turned that one over. And that is a Hail Mary three from no man's land. Again, the shot selection, very poor. Jordovic gets a baseline, and he's having a good second half so far. Nails that one, and he puts him up by double digits. The veteran player, letting everyone know that he's not finished. Comes off one screen now. That's a pull up for a mid-range shot, way off the mark. Well, there Shafka just can't get a good shot right now. Schwartz looking for options. Delay, foot on the line, long, long two, doesn't get it. Bit of contact, goes all the way to the basket, another turnover. And now for Lua Stan, this is where you need to capitalize. Goes out of bounds, but it will be for Lua Stan Bolt. That's a good double team there by the half court, but again, almost got caught for a foul possibly because just over I mean, they almost pushed him out of bounds probably. Jordovic now on the ball, off one screen, pulls the trigger from downtown. Oh, he almost got it. Well, he's playing with a lot of confidence so far in the second half. I mean, he's really led the way for Falu Osten here. Keeps alive now. He's over it. A little soft, goes out of bounds, but I think they're going to call a foul on Welsh, I think, against Luth against Welsh on Luther. And there's a slight push in the back of me. Here's the penetration. Watch Luther go to the basket. And Welsh right there, hand in the back. I think Pierre Antoine Gallet is going to have to go to the bench because he's got a little bit of blood on the hand, I believe. Not a bad play to come off the bench. I mean, a Marcilla. Oh, they almost turn it over. It goes out of bounds. They do. They do turn it over. So now will be for Lua Stambol.
Well, that's the right call for the officials. No arguments whatsoever from that. Boyce now tries to make the most of it. I think technical fouls been called. I think what they're trying to say is that he flopped. So a technical foul has been called against Dar Shafika. I think what the official is trying to say is that he went to the ground too easily. Tried to sell it too much. Now be one free throw, two for Lua Stan to get the ball back. I think he's trying to say to the official that, you know, I got into good position. I took the charge. I mean. Now a 12-point lead, two for Lua Stan. Darashafka, who started the third quarter very well and took the lead, all of a sudden just shut down again. Winner now on the ball. Comes up one screen, looking for a Marcilla down low. Marcilla steps back, long, long two, doesn't get it. Now Darashafka in the third quarter trail. This one just starts to look for some. Easy baskets. Well, deep, deep three from no man's land. Doesn't get away off Mark. Nobody going in for an offensive rebound. That's just been too easy for Falua Stan on defense. I mean, well, Schwartz has been on fire this evening. Hesitates, dish up. What a pass! Schwartz found Welsh. And Welsh finishes with a beautiful finger roll. Well, Lloyd Schwartz is turning into a prime time player. You've got to love what Lloyd Schwartz did there. Just a little penetration again. He's done that a few times this evening. Well, he's got to make this one. Well, finally, Darius Shafika make a three-pointer. And again, it's that man. Same one who hit the three-point at the end of the first half. Now the dude has much confidence. Coming it down to 11-point deficit. But now they've got to do it again on defense. Schwartz goes down to Silla. Silla spins, dishes off. Under the basketball, Welsh is just treating himself to a buffet in the paint. Because right now, Darashaf, I mean, look at this. Nobody there. Hump side too slow. Backs down now, puts up a little jump. Like kisses that one off the glass. Well, Luther just threw up a prayer. Again, was just able to get it right over a Marcella. Now we're under two minutes to go here in the third quarter. Spalua Stan still with a double digit lead of 11 points over Darius Shafika. Aloy Schwartz goes back door. A three second violation has been called against Welsh, I believe. Tries another three-pointer. Got it! Big time three. All of a sudden, the 14-point lead is cut down to eight as Luther hits a much-needed three-pointer for Dara Shafika with 1.20 to go here in the third quarter. Lua Stan will call timeout and try to talk this one over. They probably will go a bit more of him. So watch if, if, if you late call it switch with him. Yeah. 
Okay. Um, chin, chin uh, motion continue. Okay. We reading options into flare if it's possible. A hey, roll deep follow that we can find a weak side. Okay. After that we have too far to spend. I, I do it. Finish for the Let's go. Well, Vanderbilt was unbelievable in the first half, playing a very, very responsible role in the point guard. But at the moment, Dusan Jordovic is just having a great third quarter, along with Pierre Antoine Gallet. Zara Shavika able to hit the last two three point field goals, but again, they're going to have to tighten this one down on defense. We got just under a minute 20 to go here in the third quarter, and they trail by eight points. Sports now kicks this one out to Muina in the corner. Jordovic pump fakes. Schwartz down the middle, he'll pull up to the mid-range, got it! Well, this man is simply nothing but net every time he shoots the ball. Well, he's three for three from within the rainbow, and also has two three-point field goals. Well, Jordanich all over him, I mean... Get a little bit of... I mean, it's only a 13th house, so it's not the end of the world, but... There you can see sportsmanship from both players. Well, 45 seconds to go here in the third quarter. It's Darius Shafka trail by 10 points. Well, finds Demir, Demir now. Six on the shot clock. Well, he's got to get something going. Tough, tough fadeaway way off the mark. And now, Falua Sten. Six seconds difference between the game clock and the shot clock. Schwartz off one screen, almost lost his dribble, finds Jordovic. Jordovic kicks out. The lay down the low to Welsh. The Welsh is going to back down. Welsh puts up a tough, tough shot, doesn't get it. And a foul's been called now. That's a 14 foul for Falua Stem, but it won't send Darius Shapka to the free throw line. But they will get the ball half court now with 8.8 .8 seconds to go here in the third quarter. So Darius Shapka will call timeout and try to draw up one last play here in the third quarter. Well, he scored the three-pointer at the end of the first half when they made a full-court interception. Now, Darius Shafka will have the ball. We're going to inbound this one full court. Plenty of time on the clock. 8.8 .8 seconds left here in the third quarter. We got to avoid the traps now. All the way goes baseline, goes up. Oh, it turns it over. Oh, poor offense there.
fantastic so far in this game. And this dish off by Amasilla. Finding Welsh. Welsh has just been having the buffet down low so far this evening in the low block. There you can see putting a little bit of work in, but one quarter to go. The swap on table inbound the ball for Falua Sten. Uh, Jordovich will bring the ball up now for the hosts as they lose this one by 10 points. Final game of the basketball Champions League for both these two teams this season. Well, Pierre Antoine Gillet takes a three, doesn't get it. Boy Schwartz comes up with a rebound. Jordovich off one screen, kicks out to Gillet. Gillet goes in, tough shot, doesn't get it. Dara Shafka secure the rebound. Up one screen now. Kicks in the corner. Basel goes to the basket. Puts him a wild shot. Again, it's the second time he's taken up. Bit of a crazy shot like that in transition. Under the basket, he kicks out. Good ball movement. The foul has been called in swap. Against Basel Glue. He fouls Swap Fontaine going to the basket. Well, Pierre Antoine Gillet's got to go to the basket there. Looks like he took a bit of a shot. Well, Twa Fontaine now tries a three. Also get it, but another offensive rebound. This time by Byshot. It's called the double team now. Goes out of bounds. But it will be for Lua Istanbul yet again with seven seconds. On the shot clock. That's a good double team there, but again, unable to come up with a loose ball. The timeout now is Lua Stem want to talk it over. We have seven seconds. This is Pierre. This is Oli. Uh, sorry, this is uh, Oli, this is uh, Luik, this is Servas, okay? Uh, immediately rub over, Luik. Okay, but listen to me now. You going to that screen, you preparing, you catching here Pierre to go out. You understand? So practically, be ready to screen your man. Yep. Pierre, if you are out here, this is a shot, okay? Hey, if he goes to switch, step in immediately. Listen, last option from here. Uh, read only pop out, attack of the catch, Seven left. Hey, hey, attack of the catch, left, so find the Louis Kevin. Well, seven seconds left on the shot clock. The Lula Stan are going to try and get one last good shot here and hopefully capitalize. So now in the fourth quarter, the host leads this one by 10 points, 64 to 54. Over Darius Shafika. Into Schwartz now. He's got to get something on the basket. Schwartz goes in all the way. Well, that is just too easy. No help side defense. No on the ball defense. And again, Boy Schwartz absolutely punishes Darius Shafika. Comes off one screen now. Down low, he's got to go up with it. Off the backboard again. That was working so well for Darius Shafka in the first half. And he only just got there. I mean, they were going to Jared, but we haven't seen Jared so far here in the second half. Well, Pierre Antoine Gillet tries another three pointer. Can't get it. Now Darius Shafka with another chance here to cut the dip. Deficit. Dunlow the big foul. He's fouled on the ground. So now that's the first team foul for Falu Osten. As it's on Loy Schwartz.
Now Jean-Marc Wiener checks into the game for Schwartz, along with Vanderburst. Good three there from Demir. Doesn't get it. Nobody going for an offensive rebound from Darashavka. Now for Lua Sten. The pushing transition. Well, Vanderbilt said draws a foul, and that's a smart move. It's now a second team foul for Darashavka. The foul is on Gorkem Doyan there. Well, Doyan just got beat to the spot after mismatch, so. Small play there from Tolua Sten. Vanderbus now kicks out of Twa Fontaine. He tries a three-pointer, doesn't get it. And now Vaseyugu comes up with it. Backs down now. Gets him a tough shot, doesn't get it. They try to follow up an offensive rebound, they couldn't get it, but now Vanderbilt will push the transition. And on the turnover, well, the Lua Stan is so sloppy with the basketball. Well, Drew the Carson. Now the question is, is that two shots? Well, Coach Dario Georgia gives his thoughts and it's a tough one because we doubt this contact, but I think Darren Georgia shares his thoughts and opinions. Odoyas, Ozdemirglu will shoot these two free throws. He's a good player, but he's had some costly turnovers in this game where, again, probably just held onto the ball. Just a little too long, a few sequences. Well, he missed the second free throw. Comes up one screen now. A beautiful pick and roll. Base shot in the lane with a monster duck. It just set a simple pick and roll, went straight to the basket. And yet had no mercy for the help side defense. It pulls up the three, gets blocked, it goes out of bounds, but it will be Darashavka ball on the baseline with 6.20 to go here in the fourth quarter. Beautiful mouth pass, it just gives it a sweet dunk. Well, no help side defense yet again. Osdemirglu will go to the bench, take a breather. He's got to get a shot off. End the shot clock. Doesn't get now, goes out of bounds. Well, they've now given that to Falua standing again. Gorkem Doyan. Not too much arguing with the referee, gets on with it. Up one screen now, gives us one up. Wiener looks to throw it down low. Turn the shot clock now, uses the screen. Kicks out to Galeb. Now Twa Fontaine's gonna go to the lane. Has to kick out. Wiener's gotta shoot it. Way off the mark. Now it does go out of bounds, but I think they're gonna call a jump ball situation. But I believe that's gonna be Darashavka possession because Lewis Stan did have the first possession of fourth quarter. Comes off one three, kicks out. Now he's got to make it. But hits a three pointer. Cuts it down to an eight point ball game. As Burke Demir hits a much needed tray ball for Dara Shafika. That was a beautiful kick out. 
Well, he now moves up to 11 points. He's four for 11 from the field. He does have two rebounds. I think what Coach Dario George is trying to say is he stepped out of bounds. Fontaine now. Oh, I turn it over. Well, Dario Shafka have numbers. I right, turn it over yet again. Sloppy pass to play by shot. And you see that Barry Shaka could have got back on defense and probably killed a loose ball, but nobody made an effort to sprint back. I mean, by shot's about to jump out of bounds. Well, by shot keeps alive, but again, you can see no effort whatsoever. All right, turn it over. Well, now they do have numbers. Well, why not? A oh, great option. They thought about taking the three-pointer, dish it off down low. And Salim Sav cuts it down to a six-point ball game. And Darius Shafka not finished. Well, Vandiverse now comes off one screen. Fontaine in the lane, finds by shot, by shot. Oh, he's got to finish it somehow, some way gets the drop. Well, it's now an eight-point ball game. It's Falua Stan, 70 to 62 over Darius Shafika. Man, the last game for these two teams here in the Basketball Champions League. It comes off the foot, but again, it's a tough pass to give away there. Better options in the corner, and Akios. Very lucky there not to turn it over. That really comes off the knee, but again, it will be. What? Since the I think they caught an offensive foul. I think they'd set an illegal screen. Well, Salim Sab there. Well, both of them actually pick your player who you want to call the foul on. Fontaine now throws a lob and goes out of bounds to try to get it to Welsh, but very help side defense there. By the Darius Shafka defense. Here comes a handoff now. Ten on the shot clock. Darius Shafka's got to get something going in the basket. He steps back from the free throw line. Big time shot. Doesn't get it. Fontaine now comes off one screen, kicks this one out of Vandiverse. Winner now, pump fakes in the lane. Turns it over yet again. And for Lua standing, just gifted Dara Shafka every chance to get back into this game. Dara Shafka trying every option they can to see what can work and what can help get back into this on the shot clock hell mary three oh testicular well that is just from no man's land i mean look at that that is unbelievable the foul has been pulled off the ball Dar Shafka now one foul away from putting Falua Sten in the penalty. Vanderburst, what a pass. Oh my lord, I thought he was going to throw it down. A football situation, so it will be a reset of the shot clock for 14 seconds. Well, just reacted a little bit too late to that one.
A sideline ball now too for Lua Sten. And now only lead by five points. Vanderbilt now finds Muina. Muina goes baseline. That's a fifth foul. Team foul, sorry. So it will be two free throws. Two for Lua Sten. The foul is on Burke Demir. These are big free throws now for Jean-Marc Muina. Oh, he missed it. All oh, the pressure. Two minutes, ten seconds to go for Lula Stent. Leading by five points. Darius Shafika possibly with a chance here. As he makes the second one, six point ball game. And Smith for Lula Stent has to be smart, but right now the thing for Darius Shafika is taking care of the basketball and getting a good shot off. Here comes the pick and roll sequence. Another turnover. Oh, they keep it alive. Bit of contact. A foul was on the ground, so we'll be baseline ball to Dara Shafka. Now you see with Dara Shafka, for them it's about just making good passes. I mean, too many times so far in the second half, they just gifted the ball to Palula Stent. Baseline ball now. Quick, quick shot on way off the mark. Now if you flew us then, you just got to get fouled, get to the free throw line, slow it down. Vanderbilt comes off one screen. Wiener. Big time three. Oh, silly foul to give away. Right at the end of the shot clock. So now Jean-Marc Muina will shoot three free throws. 126. Well, Jean-Marc Buena, again, all he's got to do is step up and make these and bury the game. I think the Derek Shafka players forgot it was a three-point shot he took. But makes a third one. Now puts him back up by eight points. Crossboard now had the shot in the corner, didn't take it. I right, missed the layup, and now for Lewis Stan with a chance to transition. Oh, easily tipped up there. It's Pierre Antoine Gillet just finishes it. Here comes the pick and roll sequence now. Ten point ball game. Fades away from 15 feet, doesn't get it. Burke Demir tips it back in. And he now moves up to 13 points. Comes up one screen now, kicks up to Muina. Muina step back, long two foot on the line. Jean Marc Muina nails it. That's a tough, tough shot. Well, puts him back up by 10 points. And well, ladies and gentlemen, what a season it's been so far here in the Boston Champions League. Unfortunately for these two teams, they will go home and stay home as the season is over. But for Lua Stan win this one, 77 to 67 over Dara Shafika. Here comes Dara Georgia there again.
very pleased with his team's performance. As they finish the basketball champs, they got a strong note. But again, for both teams, it'll be about looking back and thinking what they have to do differently to get back here. Off of Darius I mean, they started the second half really well and thought he was going to get back in this game, but again, very sloppy passage of play. Turnovers cost him. For Lua Stan, pretty much capitalized, securing the victory tonight. I'll just show you some stats and some highlights here from the game. Well, you can see for Lua Stan, but 26 for 34 from within the rainbow, 5 for 18 from downtown, and Al rebounded Dara Shafka 32 to 21. I suppose had six more assists, and that is how it finished. Well, Roy Schwartz had a wonderful shooting time. He had 14 points. Jared remained the top scorer for Darius Shafka, and he didn't even play in the second half. But that is how it will end here. Well, some good passage of play there from Dara Shafka. I mean, they looked like they were going to come back at one point in the third quarter, but he can see the dish up from a Marcella. Finding Welsh. And then you can see Luther there just backing down in the third quarter. Kissing that one off the glass. Just didn't get enough of that this evening. Luther there from downtown, hit a much needed three pointer for the Turkish team. <laughs> there was Lloyd Schwartz going to the basket again. Tough, tough move in the lane again. That was working a lot for. We see from Istanbul early on, but again, just wasn't enough to keep them in this game. <laughs> There's a kick out as Buck Demir, nailing a much needed tray ball. They got them within eight points, but just was too little, too late for them at that point. Deep three, sorry, long two by Jean-Marc Buena. Well, there are the standings. San Pablo Borgos and Happy Casa Brindisi will be going through to the playoffs. While Falua Stan and Dara Shafka Tekfen, their season is over. Ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for joining us here. More games to come in the playoffs. The postseason begins and is brought to you live by the Basketball Champions League. But for now, here in the Flanders country in Belgium, it's good night.